There's never a dull moment around here. My cat's been bothering me for an hour and a half to feed her, so I finally just did. Um, I'm cooking a rump roast for dinner, so I've got to go get the potatoes and vegetables going. But anyways, um, Joseph, on those bookmarks that you made, um, one of them with the two, the two beadings, two of the beads um, fell off in the package here, so I just fixed it and it's good as new. And to, to fix the problem um, where you have the name, if I'm, if I'm correct, I just used a permanent marker and just put Julia's name on. So it's good as new. So thank you so much once again for that. Oh, my nose is itchy. Um, I was being interrupted by the phone there the last time I tried to do a video. It was just a reminder uh, for Julia's appointment on Wednesday, we go back to the eye doctor, and the eye doctor said if everything's going um, as it should be, then she'll probably continue to wear the glasses until he says she doesn't have to, or he might put her on a patch if things aren't going as well. But we think things are going pretty good. So um, we get to do that this Wednesday. Brian actually is taking the day off. But I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing. Um, oh, my nose is so itchy. Um, I've actually been working on Julia's mini book. And I got two pages done. Um, I did this page. Those are pictures of me when I was a baby. I think I was about three months in those pictures. And I started uh, this page. See, there's the picture of me. And then over beside that is my stepbrother. In the middle is Julia. Down in the bottom is um, my cousins, who growing up I was really close with. And then over is my family picture of myself in the blue and then my sister Pamela and my brother Jim who we used to call Jimmy growing up um my nose is itchy again um I came across these pictures wanted to share those with you guys. Oh! Silly me. I just realized it was upside down. That was when I first held Julia. So you guys are getting an idea of what Julia looked like when um, she was first born. I think I showed you this one. I'll show you it again. So yes, Julia has come a long way. Yesterday we watched um, the Duggars family. Um, they brought home their baby, baby Josie. And unfortunately, um, the first car seat test she failed, um, passed the second one. And then they brought her home on oxygen. And then the next day they had to take her back to the hospital due to some complications or something wrong. But it... It's just amazing to me how premature babies, um, some are born earlier than Julia, or even the same time as Julia. Okay, they could have weighed, um, well, Julia weighed two pounds, three ounces, and she was born three months early. Now, I've heard of babies born the same time as Julia. Two pounds, three ounces, two pounds, four ounces, five, whatever and they end up having complications like needing surgery or you know we have to think um, some of them do pass away but I am so thankful for the support and all the love that I was given um, at the time that I was going through this um, when Julie was in the hospital for as long as she's been. Um, 
and it just makes me wonder and I know I'm very blessed because we had our ups and downs um, one of the downs I couldn't breastfeed so I pumped and I pumped as much as I could got as much milk as I could and I was very upset about the amount but I talked to one of the lacto and well the lactate consultants and she told me that I was doing the best that I could I know I saw mothers that got enough that could probably feed two babies and I know I was very upset and I wanted so much to be able to do it I gave it a try I breastfed I tried um, I was afraid that she wasn't getting anything and um, with that situation we made the best of the situation and I, d I think I did all right and we went through her having pneumonia we got past that she had a heart murmur it just disappeared she had jaundice that was dealt with and fixed and gone so I'm very thankful to all my angels above me all the people around me that prayed and um, I just today I look at her and it's like oh my god she's five years old almost about to graduate next month June uh, June June 31st is the last day of school I think let me see here June 30th is um, actually June 29th is the last day if I'm correct let me double check that here on my calendar I don't want to be given out wrong information yes June 29th is the last day of school um, in the middle of this month um, we're supposed to get information about the graduation so so far what we're planning to do is um, I've got to possibly go look at a gift for Julia at the end of this month and um, we're going to uh, the day of our graduation depending on what shift Brian's on we might do it on the weekend and that is we're going to get a cake and invite some people who can come over and uh, maybe have a little party or um, I think the day of graduation I'm gonna do something I just know we're gonna take her out for dinner and then we're gonna have a little party with cake nothing big and um, I'm hoping to do some pictures if possible but um, I better go I gotta get dinner going um, Julia's playing and I've got to get cleaning up here so um, I hope to see you guys real soon have a wonderful week and a wonderful evening tonight take care bye guys